Hello. I I am making this video because um I was truly inspired by what I saw on YouTube today and it was about indigos. I chose not to show my face because not because I'm afraid of showing my face, but simply because I turned on my laptop as I'm sitting here in bed and this light was not working for almost two years in my bed the light fixture on top and I was doing some meditation and I turned around to put my laptop aside and my hand accidentally touched the light switch and the light came on and I was truly amazed it's like there was in uh, in the character traits of an indigo you will find that lights flick on and off or sometimes electrical appliances will not work and I didn't know that until I think last last week I looked up the character traits of an indigo and one of them is lights will flick on and off and electrical stuff will not work because they have this energy and then this light came on after two years my husband is trying to fix it and he can't fix it and it just came on like I've never met, done meditation okay and I was born in the 70s and I've never done meditation because it was against my religious belief and I'm I am I am not religious anymore I'm Christian I believe in God and nobody will ever take that belief away from me I believe that God is the way the truth and the life I believe that his son Jesus Christ came and died for our sins and that we have to go to Jesus Christ to get to the Father and I believe in the Holy Spirit I believe right now that my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and that when Jesus Christ left he sent his Holy Spirit and through the Holy Spirit we can hear the voice of God and we can know what God wants us to do to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit says our body is his temple and so it has just become to my aware it has just come to my awareness that we have a third eye. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that eye on top of the pyramid was the third eye and it's actually a gland that is found in our body. And I didn't know any of that. Why? Because religious belief and religious views and religious doctrines covered that up. And they just said it is God it is God it is God but here's the thing about me this is the reason why I know that well they call it indigo but because I've had these abilities and because I have had these 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 all-knowing and all-seeing whatever I am not going to call it indigo I mean I just love the fact that they have this camera that can take a picture of your spirit because I don't believe that it is an aura I believe it is a spirit because if it is around you and it is not physical, then it is spirit. And I don't believe that that indigo should be called indigos based on the color that you see around them. Because that is spirit. I believe and, and some for some reason this light that hadn't worked for two years just flicked on and when I put my laptop on, it's the color of indigo. I mean if you can see it as I move the laptop as I manipulate the laptop, you will see uh, like a purple thingy and so I decided to just do the video like this but if you look at my other videos you'll know who I am I'm just doing this because I love the, the color just fell in line with indigo so but I don't believe that it should be called indigo I honestly and truly believe that it should be called for what it truly is and that is spiritually gifted I have had questions all of my life there are things that happen in my life that I have no explanation to. There are things that I told my mother when I was a little kid and my mother would just look at me in disbelief. I have been visited by spirits and they were not good spirits. They attacked me and I truly believe they were sinister and they wanted to end my life but because I knew that there are two forces in the world which is good and evil positive and negative God 
and the devil. I knew the forces that were attacking me were evil, and I knew how to call on God for help. And I called on God for help. And angels showed up to save me. They saved me. There was there were so many instances in my life where I was attacked in my mother's house as a child by sinister spirits. I heard them and I felt them. There was, oh my goodness, I don't even want to get into it because this is just an introduction to my life as an indigo. You know, I will not call myself an indigo. I will call myself spiritually gifted because the things that I have experienced are from the spirit world. They're not a color. I don't believe that I am an indigo, like I have a purple aura, like what is showing right now. Okay, fine, it's purple. You know, that's a light that didn't work for two years and finally it's working. And then when I put my laptop on, it's all purple or whatever, indigo. But I, I believe that indigos are extremely spiritually gifted. And they have a connection. They have a connection. That's a mirror behind me. I don't have four hands. They have a connection. They have a powerful connection with the spirit world. They have a direct connection with the spirit world. And they also have an extremely powerful connection with the law of attraction. And the law of attraction is simply something that God created. It is not new age. I don't know why they're calling indigos a new age. God is not a new age God. God is God. And God made the law of attraction. So I don't know why Christians and religious people are placing the law of attraction and, and, and indigos into a new age ball or a new age basket. They are not new age and they are not um, against God. God made the law of attraction. Didn't he? God pictured the world in his mind. And he spoke it. He said, let there be light. And there was light. He said, let there be plants and trees. And all the trees are going to have fruits. And then he said, let there be a firmament to divide the waters from the earth. Now, that is the law of attraction in its most powerful form. Is a God who saw what he wanted and spoke it. And when he did that, what he was speaking was energy. It, you know, and his word became life. And your words are energy. We are the energy of an all-seeing, all-knowing, loving God. He created us with his word, of his mouth. He did the only thing that he he even created man with the word of his mouth. He said, now I shall make man. He saw man in his mind and man was in his image. But he decided to stoop down and make man with his hands because you know why? He loved man so much that he wanted to make it his masterpiece. And in the mind of man, in the brain, where all our function is for everything, he placed the pineal gland and that is our connection with God it's in here now why don't we have why don't we all have we all have that connection with God there's all in all of us there is a desire to connect with our Creator don't care who you are I don't care what you believe if you believe in God or not if you're an atheist you know that somewhere deep inside of you you have a spiritual something well, that spiritual something was left there in our body. It's called the pineal gland. And it's how we connect with the spiritual realm. And the reason why we don't always have that eye open is because men fell in the Garden of Eden. We fell. Well, Adam and Eve fell, not us. But we, we have to suffer because of what they did. And what God did was he closed off that eye. But man has found a way to manipulate that eye. But you have to be very careful because when man manipulates the eye, the third eye, which is our spiritual eye, we are now entering into the spiritual world. But you don't know what kind of spirits you're going to be. Whereas before God blocked it off, we were seeing and hearing God. We had visits from God back before the fall. 
but now because he closed it off it's limited but there are some people that he has given the gift to know and to see and these are the people that we call indigos but they're not indigos they're only they're spiritually gifted and that is all I'm gonna say for now but I have so much more things to talk about what has happened in my life as a spiritually gifted person I mean I'm not gonna get into it in my introduction I'm just gonna say I do believe in indigos and I do believe that they are extremely spiritually gifted why I am one and the reason why I'm so enthused about this is because I've had questions all of my life that nobody could answer except God and that is why I am so spiritual and that is why I have never left the church and that is why I've always been seeking God and the supernatural in ways that you could not understand because mankind and man could not understand me or understand the questions that I were that I was asking except that it would be a spiritual that was the only thing that could answer my questions it was spiritual my mother couldn't answer it my teachers couldn't answer it pastors couldn't answer it nobody could answer it it was spiritual and I have so much more that I would love to talk about and I would love to talk about it right here in this indigo color lighting thingy I mean how awesome is this a light that didn't work for two years after I got done meditating decided to just boom and I just kind of brushed past it with my hand and it just went boom and it's on and then here I put my laptop on and it's all indigo is that indigo I think it's purple but I see I don't know I, I just know that these children are these adults and I'm gonna tell you something right now they say that it is only happening to children who were born in 1978 but I'm gonna tell you right now that you are all wrong there has been indigo people way before 1978 I think 1978 was the rebirth of the born the birth of new age belief but I'm telling you right now that indigo is actually something that is hereditary why my mother is one I have a brother who saw spirits and dead people all his childhood and he was scared to death and he would run like crazy because they were after him I couldn't see them but he did he had a different gift I have a different gift and my mother is the queen bee okay you call my mother right now you talk to my mother right now and my mother will be able to prophesy something about your life my father was so afraid of my mother that he kept secrets from her because he said that if you tell her anything and she spoke your entire plan and your entire whatever you were doing will be changed and influenced and he was so afraid of her he thought that she knew witchcraft and he he accused her of knowing witchcraft almost all their marriage my father passed away in um nine uh 2000 and my, pa my father passed away in 2006, but for their entire marriage, my father accused my mother of knowing witchcraft. And my mother would cry because she said she don't know witchcraft. It's just the fact that she sees things and she knows things. And when she spoke it, it happened. And he, he accused her of witchcraft, knowing witchcraft all her life. She suffered greatly because the marriage was in hell because he accused her of knowing witchcraft to the point where he went to people who actually practice witchcraft to try and find out what it was that my mother knew and my mother was a God-fearing person she didn't know anything she was born that way and he didn't know that and the witchcraft people that he went to said they are afraid of my mother because she knows something more powerful than they know and they were afraid of her and then my father concluded that she had some kind of power that was extremely powerful that to the point where he walked around with this guard or something in his pocket because he thought that would ward off her power she didn't know anything the reason why I know she didn't know anything is because now I have it and so did my brother I don't know if any one of my other siblings have it but I do know my brother have it because he audibly 
was very audible and verbal about the fact that he saw spirits and he would run with his heart beating, panic attack, he would turn pale, and he's black, and he would turn so pale and scared and frightened, and he would saw he would see spirits of dead people. He would see spirits, the neighbor who just passed away, and he would run to my mother, and he saw their spirit. I saw the spirit of a, of a neighbor who passed away once. When he called me to see it, he goes, look at this. Come and see this K. Look at this. Look at this. And I saw her. She was a neighbor who got shot. And she passed away that very night. And her spirit was passing through my mother's house because my mother was her best friend. And I saw her. And um, I didn't know I was able to see spirits. So I guess I have the same thing. The reason why I never saw... Uh, the reason why all of this just got erased and blocked was because I simply decided that this thing was evil and that God is against it because the church preach against it to see spirits and to to be new age and all that thing was evil so I automatically placed what I knew in an evil box and said I want nothing to do with that that is that is that is evil and not of God and I I locked it down and I and I closed my mind off to it but now my mind is open and my eyes I believe I'm learning how to open my third eye. I didn't even know I have one until, I would say, a couple weeks ago. So, amen, hallelujah, praise God. This is not evil and this is not new age. This is people who are born spiritually gifted by God himself. Follow me on YouTube. I have lots more to talk about.